Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Front Royal, also known as Guard Hill or Cedarville, located in Warren County, Virginia on May 23, 1862. General Stonewall Jackson was ordered to advance with his 17,000 men to threaten Washington, D.C. The goal was to distract some of the Union Army from its invasion of Richmond and drag them back to the Shenandoah Valley. Meanwhile, Union General Banks had received orders to deploy his men at Strasburg to stop any Confederate movement, and additional 1,500 men were sent to Front Royal. Jackson took his men and silently made their way to Front Royal, where they commenced a surprise attack on the 1,500 defenders. Jackson sent the Confederates 1st Maryland and the Confederate Major R.C. Wheat's Louisiana Tigers to surprise the Union's 29th Pennsylvania and the 1st Maryland Infantry. Yes, there are two Maryland, 1st Maryland Infantries, one Confederate, one Union. The 1st Maryland Infantry under the Union command of U.S. Colonel John R. Kenley. As the 1st Maryland Infantry of the Confederate forces approached the town, they noted that Kenley had formed a defensive line on Richardson's Hill. Even though they were outnumbered severely, the Union forces held the Confederate attack for more than two hours. It was at this time that the Kenley noticed additional Confederate cavalry approaching from the west and decided to pull his men back. The Union forces retreated across both the north and south forks of the Shenandoah River. In a desperate attempt to stop the Confederates, Kenley even tried to burn the bridges behind him. Unfortunately, those fires were extinguished by the Confederate forces too quickly to be of any use. Meanwhile, Jackson sent General Ashby to attack Buckton Station to the west to cut rail and telegraph lines. This would isolate Kenley even more. This threatened General Banks' communication, and with the victory at Front Royal, it threatened Banks' line of retreat if things were to go badly. Jackson was successful in his mission as President Lincoln was forced to call back three divisions to ensure Washington, D.C. was not attacked. This spared Richmond from an attack from the north and prevented General McClellan of the Union Command from being reinforced. The estimated casualties were a total of 773 for the Union, comprising of 83 men killed and wounded and 691 captured, while the Confederates only suffered 56 killed and wounded. Please join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.